Alright, in today's video I decided to see what happens if you put a tomato into dehydrator for 7 days. And frankly I have no expectations whatsoever what might happen to the tomato. And tomatoes as you guys know have a lot of water as well. So my assumption is gonna probably become really really dry inside. So I guess I'm gonna put this tomato in this tray. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna set it for the longest time and for the highest temperature. There you go. All right, it's been seven days. Check this out. That's what happened to this tomato. Look at that. How crazy is that? Look, it feels like puffy a little bit, like air bubbles inside of here. And it feels like it's actually not too dry inside. Well, let's cut it open and see what's inside. Check this out. Look how different these two tomatoes are. This tomato actually was almost the same size as this one. And now look at that. It's just crazy. It became very like soft with the air pockets around. That's crazy. So I want to cut both of them in half and see what's the difference. Ooh, check this out. I'm surprised there's like lots of liquid still here. I thought it would actually be way drier. I'm gonna cut the normal one. Obviously, you guys all know how normal ones look like. They look like this. And now look at this. See the difference? The one that was in dehydrator, I think, has actually more liquid than the normal one. And the fresh one has a better color, you know, like normal red color. But this one looks like it's like a pickled, you know, almost rotten one. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Ooh, ah, look at that. Lots of liquid. Look at this here. This outer skin peels off so easily. Check this out. Look. See here how easy it peels off? It's crazy. Ah, it smells like it's pickled for sure. And of course, if I want to peel off the outer skin on this one, it's almost impossible. See? You cannot do it as easily. Yeah, see? So I'm actually kind of want to try this tomato, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to compare it to the normal tomato. Going to get a piece of it. Well, let's try the normal one first. Yeah, normal taste, nothing wrong with this. What about this one? Oh, it tastes a little bit soury. Soury and pickly kind of. I can't even tell for sure. Well, let me try more. Ah, oh, mm, no, no, not good. Normal tomato is way better, way better. Yeah, look how much liquid is in this one. It's kind of weird. I thought it's gonna be way less liquid. Look at that. It's just dripping. Well, now we know what happens if you put a tomato in dehydrator for seven days. Don't try this at home. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.